Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we are going to see about how to implement YouTube video player in our Flutter apps. So without any delay, let's get started. So yeah, so for YouTube video player, I'm going to use the YouTube player iframe package, which, is, which will be adopted for uh, Android iOS, including web. So I'm going to copy this and uh, inside our terminal, just paste and uh, hit the enter. So it will be adding our package into our pubspec.yaml. Yeah, it is completed. So once the pubkit is completed, I have created a file called UT player screen as a separate file. So I'm gonna create a separate class here. I'm gonna import first our material dot. So it will be your stateful widget. So I'm gonna name it as a custom YouTube player. So we'll be taking the URL as a parameter since we are doing it as a separate class. It'll be a nullable string YouTube URL. So I'm gonna take it inside the constructor. Okay. So after that, I'm gonna inside our class. We'll be defining the UT player controller, which is inside our package. Okay. So we are gonna inside instantiate it inside our initial state so for our controller we are gonna create a UT player controller so we have to give the player id or uh, video id for the respective url so for that they have given the method to convert from url to the uh, youtube video id so that is called uh, YouTube player controller dot convert URL to ID. So you have to pass so widget dot YouTube URL. So since it is an elementary, okay. So yeah, yeah. So once we have given this, we can also have a params here for uh, specific uh, optimization or you want to do some other uh, extra parameters that will be comes here inside the player params oops okay so here so inside the ut player params we'll be having uh, several options here so now i'm gonna use some of those i'm gonna loop through and we're gonna give the color as a transparent and uh, yeah so we are gonna use it for desktop mode too so we'll be enabling oops i have missed this comma here okay then i'm gonna use a strict lettered videos and also customize here lettered videos and show full screen button so, so here we can give it as if it is a web so we'll give the inverse thing. So only if it's not web, we'll be giving this. Okay. So we have defined our controller here and we have uh, give it the initial state too. So inside our uh, build method, we are going to give the widget for player. So I'm gonna have a sized box here. So for height, I'm gonna give if it's a web. Be giving a media query. So I'm gonna save it as a separate variable. The screen size. Post it. 
how to remove this so jeopardy dot contacts dot size so if it's a web so screen size dot height i'm gonna divide it by 1.13 i think it's fine yeah so else if it's not we're gonna give is give it as a full height okay so we can for with we can give the full screen width so we don't have any problem with that and we're gonna give a child as a youtube player controller provider so this is the vision which, which will be having uh, the video thing and uh, for controller we have to pass the controller which we have created above and uh, after that <coughs> there is a child attribute here we have to give the youtube frame here youtube player frame so here this is the iframe so we have to pass the controller here too so yeah so now we have good to go so now uh, inside our main we have to call this class and we are gonna pass youtube url here so then it will be ready to use so inside the uh, main i'm gonna have uh, my app here so here i'll be having my own page so inside the home page so i'm having uh, one elevator button here so on the text show player so on pressed we are gonna call the our custom youtube player class here so i'm gonna put this okay so yeah we have put it here so we are gonna push push this screen and we are gonna pass one of the youtube url here so if you want to check the specific url as a youtube url you can have some projects to identify those things and we'll see the output now so here i have run in our chrome platform so so it has come so if i click the show player button so it will be pushed to our this is our custom beauty player class so we can have a player widget here inside this you can play pause and you can even control the volumes and you can have the settings you can play this so yeah you can also have the related video here so now we'll see uh, now we'll see the output in our uh, mobile platform so here i have run the project in our uh, emulator so i'm gonna click the show player button now so if i hit the button so it will open the youtube player widget here so yeah so this is how the plata youtube video player uh, iframe works So that's all for the today's video guys, we'll see you in the next video, stay tuned.